in this video we are going to discuss about configuring dns and dhcp so you, you know that in the advanced configuration such as routing and access list the ios devices you will often refer to other devices so in that way you see here the first method is to use the dns server that you might already have in the network so we have to use the dns server which is already in the network so to configure this dns ser or server we give the ip address of the dns server you see here my router in the global configuration mode given ip name hyphen server 192.168.1.34 and also 1.35 we have given here two dns servers you can give as many as the dns servers available in the network so the ios will try to get response from each server sequentially depending on the response from those servers and you see the second method is to create a mapping names of the ip the first method is directly assigning the dns server to the to the router or the second method is mapping of the names to ip addresses of the ios itself that means mapping of the names you see here ip host router 1 192.168.1.2 so we are giving the router 1 ip address directly to the host here so that is what mentioned here that the router 1 to the ip address 192.168.1.2 is assigned directly as the second method of assigning the dns server so you see here ping router 1 as we already given host router 1 the ip address when you ping the router 1 it will give an escape sequence to a bot and also the icmp messages are sent and we get the success rate is 100 percent in the ex in the you can see here in the Egbo example notice that the router resolved its ping command to the ip address that means the ip address and the ping command are uh, equally uh, coincides with each other and it get the response of 100 percent here so coming to dhcp the ios device be configured receives as well as gives out the ip addresses that means as you know dhcp is a agent or a server which assigns ip addresses automatically so here when you configure the devices as a dhcp client it receives the address from dhcp server for its interface that means when you configure the dhcp client the dhcp server in the network will automatically assign the ip addresses to the interface available on the router so you see the basic thing here is ip dhcp pool test we have to enter this pool test command and network for which network with the slash notation mentioned here and dns server 192.168.1.34 when you give dns server ip address the default router is 1.1 then by this the automatic assignation of the interface ip address is done so this command will create a pool and bring back the dhcp server configuration mode and it will be in the dhcp configuration mode while assigning the ip addresses to the interface and you can see clearly here how to exclude the ip address you see ip at ip dhcp excluded ip addresses 1.1 and 1.34 so these two ip addresses will be excluded from the pool and you will need to exclude these ID addresses from the pool because you see that the entire subnet of has been assigned to the pool so entire subnet can't be assigned to the pool because it is in the dhcp server uh, configuration mode and this needs to be excluded so from the pool so this command is used to exclude it from the pool so this is how the dns and dhcp are configured onto the interfaces or to, or to the router to get the router into the connectivity of the network 